Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Takesha. I'm um, with New Chicago Character Event, and today we're doing a workshop on couple with. The outline today, we're going to get um, go up some introduction about uh, what is it coping and why uh, do we need to cope with emotions? Um, how do I cope? What are emotions? Uh, what emotions uh, do people experience? Why is coping with emotions necessary? And how do I cope with my emotions? Introduction. This workshop is uh, is intended to bring um, you information on coping with emotions and to discuss why is it important <coughs> to learn how to cope with them. Learning how to cope with your emotions is essential to maintain a balance in your daily life. Emotions are how we express the way that we feel, and can range from happy to sad and everything in between. Uh, emotions can um, they are complicated and could be complex. <laughs> What is what is coping? Coping is how you deal with a situation or emotions or problem. Um, it's basically the mechanism of um, use for coping can be healthy or unhealthy. <coughs> healthy coping um, mechanisms reduce stress and can help resolve the problem. So. What I mean by healthy cope, uh, coping skills is when you're angry, and we always tell our kids no hitting. So that is a that is a healthy uh, a mechanism when we tell the kids no hitting. So um, the unhealthy coping uh, unhealthy coping mechanisms can temporarily reduce stress, but can lead to further problems: alcohol, drugs, gambling, or you know that three year old, five year old, or the twenty year old, or thirty six year old gets angry and decides to hit somebody. So you know that's an uh, unhealthy uh, coping mechanism because you know hitting is not good and hitting can lead to er arrest. How do I cope? Um, Unhealthy coping uh, mechanism, isolation. Why don't you want to isolate yourself uh, from people? Isolation can lead to idle thoughts and can lead to more uh, unhealthy uh, stress problems. Self-harm. Uh, Self-harm can come from isolation. So when you isolate yourself and you're not around amongst people to deal with these things, you can begin to self-harm. And self-harm is, um, is not a good way to relieve stress. It might be a temporary fix at the point because you feel good at what you're doing, but it's not a healthy way to relieve stress. Um, unhealthy eating. So when uh, you get angry and you get emotional, um, some, some of us women, we like to go for the ice cream um, and the brownies and the chocolate. So we know that can be unhealthy. Um, substance use, um, going for the marijuana, going for, you know, the alcohol, anything that's, uh, that you can abuse when you're doing uh, the pills. Physical attack. When you are putting your hands on other people, so once again, like I said in the other slide, when you are putting your hands on other people, this could lead to arrest. Uh, emotionally abuse towards other. This can be towards your family members, your partner. This can be towards your children. These are not healthy coping mechanisms because emotional abuse can hurt somebody else's feelings. And uh, what does healthy coping mechanism? Confronting the issue. So. When you confront the issue versus isolating yourself, you are opening up about what is going on around you and you're able to deal with it. Talking to, uh, talking with others. So if, hey, I have this problem and I'm not feeling well today, do you have a moment of your time? So if a person say, I don't, I can't get to you right now, but set up a design time to do so, also be respectful today. Exercise and meditation. When you exercise and meditate, whoo, you relieve a lot of toxic emotions that's going on into your body. Um, listening to music. Um, depends on what music that you listen to. Yes, music do fluctuate your emotions. So if you're already depressed, um, I would not go listen to no love songs about somebody just breaking up. No, that's going to already aggravate your emotions already because you're already sad and de depressed because you just broke up. So you now want to listen to this love song. It's going to make it even worse. Removing yourself from the situation and returning later. Um, having a heated uh, argument right so whether you right whether that person is wrong stepping away to evaluate what part did you play in it to say and then come back later and say okay i apologize let's hear one another out because if everybody wants their um everybody wants their point heard nobody's listening to uh, one another 
what are emotions? Um, and emotions is the body internal reaction to a situation, moment, or circumstance. Emotions can be a brief or long lasting. What are you feeling when you uh, get a degree or the dream, your dream job? So when you get your degree, are you ecstatic? Are you, or are, are you, you, sometimes people can be overwhelmed because now I'm looking for this dream job. So, and I'm hoping that I get it. So it can be complex. That's one, one that can be complex because you also excited um, because you got your degree. Then you are now saying, okay, I need to find this job that I've been looking for ever since I was two years old. So those can be kind of complex. Um, how about when your in-laws show up and uninvited? Or you become a new parent, or you uh, your money was uh, your money was stolen out of your bank account. So these are right here. Uh, I'm feeling some type of way that my my in laws showed up and I didn't invite them here. Um, I'm feeling some way because I just had a baby and it's this wonderful feeling um, that this cute little thing, or it can be overwhelming because um, if I don't have any help. Uh, dealing with uh, a lot of things that's going on with me if I'm going to have postpartum depression or um, not having no help at all. Um, then two, if I just had this baby and somebody stole my money at my bank account, how am I going to buy my baby diapers? So these things are kind of too complex because you have different emotions going on and you have to be able to deal with them. What emotions do people experience? Um, love. I love my partner and I love my children. I love my mom. Happiness. Happiness is when I go home and I see my pit bull and my toddler. Those are my happy moments. Amusement. Um, when my partner calls and he has something to talk about for six hours, uh, it can be amusement. Pride. Pride that I take in um, when I'm doing something like when I'm doing my work, when I go to work. That's pride. Gratitudes. Uh, that when we are sitting around at the uh, table, uh, that somebody said, "Hey, uh, Mira, I appreciate uh, the uh, the, uh, the rock kicking RAs that you have done." That's gratitude towards a beautiful person, letting her know that, "Hey, she got these. Uh, she been kicking it with the RA people, and she's getting it out, showing her gratitude, interest. That uh, I'm showing you interest in something that I like. Um, hope. I hope that." Um, that I'm be able to continue to do my job. Inspiration, inspiration that we all give to each other when we have our team meetings. Fear, fear can come from, if I don't get enough tests, what's going to happen at the end of the year? Anger, anger can be one of my teenagers are doing something that they don't have no business and I'm getting angry. Sadness is uh, sometimes that I feel um, because I'm still mourning the loss of my sister. Disappointment. Um, when somebody promised me something or uh, offered to do something and they, they didn't do it, grief. Grief uh, goes again. Um, it could be from a loss of a son, someone, uh, a loss of a home, a loss of a job. Depression um, is how you feel your emotions are up and down. Uh, rejection. I don't want to be rejected from nothing. I don't want to be rejected from my partner. I don't want to be rejected from a job. So things like that. So you might feel some type of emotions just if you be a uh, rejected hatred. Um, what is going on with everything with the Black Lives Matter and the police killing? The, the, what are you feeling? Are you feeling angry? Are you feeling hatred? What are you feeling? So those are ways that uh, those are emotions that people are experiencing. Why is coping with emotions necessary? Hmm, we're going to get into that. We're going to talk about that. Coping healthily allows you to respond appropriately to the situation around you, right? So if we're at work and I'm not getting the results that I want from people, I cannot just say F you, screw you, and just turn over tables. Um, that's not appropriate uh, result because what's going to happen is you might get sent down to the HR, they got to talk to you, and some people might not be so understanding. Some people might say, you got to go. Um, coping helps build better communication in the workplace, in the relationship. So if me and my boss have a disagreement, we both will... Uh, Come back to it later, and we are not, and I hear her dis, uh, points, and she'll hear mine. So, building a better communication between us, because um, if we're both talking at the same time, nobody listens to nobody, and everybody just, just get fluctuated. Coping with emotions, yes, like I said, this can save your job. Why? Because when you get angry, you cannot go over turning over tables, and you cannot just tell everybody, screw you. I think you're going to have a job the next morning. 
how do I cope with my emotions? Um, avoiding circumstances that trigger unwanted um, emotions. What do I mean by that? Um, going to um, unhealthy relationships, events, putting yourself around people that you know that's not going to do you any harm. Just, just like me putting myself with my father, my new father-in-law. No, I would not put myself in that situation because I know my emotions about him. It's not good. Um, modify the situation, right? So what do I mean? If something cannot happen that you planned on happening, you wanted to do these things that were so big to you, you couldn't do it, right? And everything that you could not make it happen, it's okay that you have to... Uh, change up your plans it's nothing wrong so learning how to be able to modify the situation too will help you to be able to cope with my emotions so i could not cook this this fancy meal you know all my friends and them was counting on me to get lobsters and shrimp and stuff like that but my funds didn't say something but i can also cook uh a, a, another meal you know just as good as that meal you know you have to learn how to modify your situation shift your focus um Depression over loss or uh, trying to focus, uh, depression over loss. When you are focusing on something, right? So if you still focusing on um, the depression of a loss or just things at, like the current moment with the Black Lives Matter, how do you shift your attention away from them? Start shifting your attention to something positive. Yes, I love my sister and I'm, I'm still angry that she's gone, but I cannot keep mourning over that she's gone i have to focus on something more positive look at the things that we used to do together uh being at her house on sundays for dinner um now this sunday me and my mom are gonna start doing the same things we're gonna start back having sunday dinner we're not gonna let that die um as far as all the tension that we have going on with the black lives matter and the police killings um yes it's a very hot topic but also to uh shifting our attention to something positive like okay voting coming up now let's get the vote let's go get the vote you know just shift your attention to something like that um changing your thoughts positive talks um this is what i have a problem in um negative talk towards myself. Oh, no, this is not going to happen. Oh, no, no, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to pass my class because I don't do this. I can't do this. It's so much. So once you begin to change the or your thoughts, um, change your thoughts, start thinking positive, okay? Take things one day at a time, you know? Nothing um, going to come to you all at once. But once you start changing your thoughts on how you see yourself, you're going to see things in a different way. So when you wake up in the morning and say, I know I'm about to kick somebody butt today. What does that state about what you put in over your day already? You already put negativity in the uh, atmosphere. How you know if somebody going to say something to you? You don't know. You already decided you're going to kick butts already when you walk out the door. No, change your thoughts, okay? So once again, Step away and take a breath. Uh, one, two, three, four, ten. I will not hit my father in law. One, two, three, four, ten. I will not hit my father in law. Take a breath. Um, just like I said once before, if that's at um if you at work and you're in a meeting and you and your co-workers are not seeing eye to eye, ask can you um excuse yourself and to take a walk and then when deep breathing comes, you know, either can speak to you know the head person, um, the, the head boss. You know, can I talk to you about what I'm feeling? You know, Th those are some ways to uh, step away. Take a breath. One, two, three, four, ten. I will not hit anybody. That's what you say to yourself. Next one. Um, resources that we had, um, the slide carnival, um, well, uh, very well mind psychology today. We had uh, a lot of uh, resources that we have. And once again, thank you for tuning in to our workshop of coping with emotions. Thank you.